everybody. I'm Mark Tewksbury, your host for this program. Our goal is to reveal the methods and materials that turn out the everyday products you see around you. If you thought you knew something about these items, you might be in for some surprises. There's a whole world of things waiting for us to discover here on how it's made. On today's program, compact discs, cheese, pantyhose, and fluorescent tubes. Some people are drawn to those shiny cars with that special metallic finish. Metallic paint actually contains metal particles, most often aluminum. Powdered metal is combined with paint paste to provide color, brilliance, and that metallic effect. The larger the particles, the greater the effect. Millions of data bits representing numbers, words, music, and drawings, today all available on compact disc. The best part for me is it's so user-friendly. Compact discs are copies made from an original glass master disc. A thin plate of glass is first placed in this unit, which brushes the surface to perfectly clean it. The machine starts up. Cleaning is done with deionized water and a small goat hair brush. The excess water is eliminated by the rapid rotation of the disc. The disc then goes into this surface analyzer, where a laser beam inspects the cleanliness of the surface. At this stage, two chemicals are applied, a primer and a photoresistant coating. This operation is done at a temperature of 21 degrees centigrade and lasts three minutes. The disc is delicately retrieved from the apparatus. Then the photoresistant coating dries in an oven for 30 minutes. This developer has two spouts. One applies deionized water and the other sprays a solution to develop the data etched on the glass. The information is now engraved on the disc. The disc is placed in this metal coating equipment. The next step consists of applying a thin coating of nickel and vanadium. This electroforming process results in the master from which discs will be made. The etched glass is immersed in a chemical solution for 70 minutes. Then the plated piece is removed, thus obtaining a dye. This dye is sent off for finishing. It is stamped out into the desired shape. The excess material is later recuperated for recycling. Following on, the compact discs will be fabricated from this master unit. Here we clearly see the stamping out technique. The master is taken out. A technician peels off the film, which protected the data etched onto the die. Following a visual inspection, the die is sent to the pressing department. The die is delicately installed in the mold, which will form compact discs. Discs are made from a very special plastic called polycarbonate. The mold is closed and liquid polycarbonate is injected into the dye. It comes out as a small, hard, translucent disc. It is now ready to be metal coated so that it can be read by a compact disc reader. A robotic arm lifts the disc from the mold and places it on these supports. This metallizing process is extremely short and very simple, taking but a second. It consists of covering the plastic disc with a very thin coating of aluminum. Here we see the inside of the mold where the aluminum coating is applied. In this facility, almost everything is automated. 
This allows for the production of over 100,000 compact discs per day. Protecting the surface of the disc is essential, so a coat of varnish is applied, which also allows silk screening to stick well to it. Ultraviolet lamps very quickly dry the varnish. And here, in the pressing room, they apply the label. This step is also very fast since the machine prints 70 discs in 60 seconds. Once the silk screening is completed, the finished discs leave for packaging.